Hey guys, Dave McBride from Spur Collector Decoys. Um, it's getting to be that time of year again, 2013 season's coming around. Um, we have a new product out we'd like to show you. It's our uh, portable gobbler decoy. Basically what it is, it's a full strut gobbler decoy. It's been made user friendly, make it a little easier to carry in the woods. Um, we also have it so it fits in a duffel bag, you can carry it. Uh, to your location in the duffel bag and it all comes apart and all you do is just put it back together and use it in the field when you're done put it back in the duffel bag and off you go so just give me a second here and I'll show you how it goes together the stake comes off I'm going to use the portable transport stand here just for uh, showing you how it works but you know basically you'd be putting the stake into the ground take the the decoy, it has a little hole in the bottom of it. Put it on the stake. The wings and tail are also detachable. Just take your wing. There's a male female socket here. Put the wing on. Take your other wing. Put it on tail folds up, all you do with it is just pop it back open, slide it in, and we do have it designed so you can take yourself some fishing line, braided line works best, if you use mono it has a little too much stretch in it, you have a little place on the back here where it hooks in and then you can take that string back to your blind or wherever you're sitting and you have the tail spring loaded so it's going to pop up and down. Some of the other features that we have designed in this, uh, a lot of the guys out west, they uh, like to do what they call flagging. We have it designed so you can actually, it has a handle on the back of it. We have it designed so you can actually take the gobbler itself Get a hold of it by the handle, hide behind the wings and the tail, and you can actually walk right up on turkeys with it. Now, a lot of people have question as to, you know, the fact that it's not the whole turkey. Um, we've used this quite a bit, and we found that, you know, you need the major trigger points to make it, you know, attractive to the gobblers. Basically, what you need is the head, the tail, and some of the feathers to make it you know, a turkey. Um, the turkeys aren't smart enough or intelligent enough to realize that it's not a whole turkey. You know, they see just the trigger areas. They see the head, they see the tail. You throw a little bit of movement in there with that and they're sold. Uh, they're gonna come in. Um, we do offer it with the Jake beard on it and this has a, a full tail fan on it, which in our experience hasn't really mattered much. Now we do have, you know, Eastern tails, uh, Merriam tails. This happens to be a Merriam tail, but there again, we really haven't had any issues with what Keller tail it has on, or whether it has a Jake tail or a full full tail fan or what it is. Um, you know, to them it's a gobbler. It's a challenge to them, and that's what they're coming in is to you know pick a fight with it. So.